Hello everybody, Patricia here, and welcome back to more. Let's play Near Replicant. I almost want to say Near Automata again, but no, Near Replicant. Last time, uh, we finished up Route B. Yep. So, uh, now we're gonna see what's gonna be happening, uh, uh, Route C. I was trying to look up, uh, what new stuff there is, especially in terms of cutscene. Uh, apparently there are a few new cutscenes for Route C. Uh, but majority of it is still the same. So yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know what's gonna be happening or whatnot, but, uh, l l l let's continue on. Oh yeah, yes, exit. Okay, ending C, uh, obtain all of the weapons in the game and you'll be able to make one final decision that affects the story. Yeah. Okay, well, we already got all of that. Uh, what I do want to do before we actually, you know, head in there is uh, change the wardrobe. Uh, so let's change to Samurai, and yeah, the Magic Orb, but, uh, I think I'll, I'll return that to Standard. Let's see what everyone's, uh, Samurai outfit looks like. And then, uh, yep, we shall continue. And I also got, got planned all, all my, uh, all, all, all the, um, well, whatchamacallit, uh, flowers, because I, I, I haven't even, like, uh, I've been playing this game since the 7th, or is it actually the 6th? I have no idea, because I've been changing up the, the, the end game time. Oh, Kaine. Hello. I don't, I don't think, before, we've we seen a me on there. Uh, now Kaine. Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe... My mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway. Lies a deep dream, a dark past, and beautiful tragedy. Uh, delve into Kanye's memories. Have we already seen this before? Sure. Oh, oh, we yeah, we are we already read all this before. Oh uh, yeah. Uh. Yep. Uh, we've seen all this. Okay, so I, I didn't know what, what was going to be happening, because, again, going to this blind, so... Yeah, this would have been, like, nearly an hour of, of reading, but if you guys just check one of the previous parts, I I, I don't remember which one, because I haven't even gone to, to editing that. Like, I just finishing editing, or actually, uh, yeah, editing uh, episode 20, which was, uh, which was, um... You know, Emil's whole explosion thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and I think I have two more recording sessions I have to edit after this. Because I think uh, Robbie just took two sessions. Because, you know, mainly did all going through uh, the bosses. Didn't do any new uh, side quests and whatnot. Uh, do, 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 yep, yep. So, so we'll, we'll just wait for all this to go by. Thank, th thank goodness there's a fast forward button. <laughs> oh man. And, yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Yada, I think I'm probably gonna edit like right after this. <laughs> just edit uh, this whole section so it just like you guys don't have to see it. <laughs> this is like this. I'm not even sure how it's probably been a minute or two. 
because me meeting a, a Tyran new character, someone that we can't even see. There we go. The beast approaches. Oh, I know. Yo, yo, uh, whoa, 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 what weapon are we using? Excuse me. On. Uh, why, why, why are we using this iron pipe? It, it, it just went all back to, to the default. Uh, and... And somehow the only thing that wasn't changed was this was this being spear spear. What anger this creature must have. How did it even survive these past five years? I'm not gonna let this happen again. It dies today. I saw it the spider. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down. Hey, hey, hey. go here. Also, uh, words. I did the words. I do want to. Uh, give me, give me a exp up. I think this also goes for Phoenix Jagger. Uh. Raise the attack power. Oh, armor breaker. Why not? That was really easy. <laughs> okay, one hit? What? <laughs> and then we break its neck. Clear. Encounter, I think we already read this. Uh, Outer Blood, uh, yep, yep, we already read this. Yep, and this is a uh, uh, Tyran. Do do do. Yep, and basically transforms into a part of a shade. You gotta live! 
you gotta come back to us. Meals just helmet just covered <laughs> the nearest face just layers. I actually like this haircut for her. Emil, you were the one calling me, weren't you? You still recognize me? Of course. I knew you right away. Thank you, Kaine. Welcome back, Kaine. Well, you grew up. So, how long has it been? Five years. Kaine kind of wish... Near, near had a had a helmet. <laughs> Shit, that's a long time. Any luck with Yona? We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but. Tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is. Until Devola and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us, and really, I understand. I, as long as you're Sorry. still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. Really, how can I blame Devil and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself.
should apologize to Kaine and Emil. But what good would that even do? I got a fire going through. Wait, is that good? Campfires are I'm so happy to get to talk to you again, Kaine. Yeah, me too. I tried everything I could think of to save you, you know. I polished you with a special cloth. I poured warm water over you. I... Wait, you poured water on me? <laughs> yeah, but it didn't really do much except make you all shiny. <sighs> hey, Emil. Thanks for saving me. I guess you noticed how I look different now. I'm sorry, Emil. I'm sorry for all of it. Well, I mean, this new form isn't all bad, you know? At least I can look at you when we talk, right? Hey, so why don't you tell me something about yourself? I'm not very interesting. Sorry. Come on. I just want to know you better. Please? Fine. This all happened when I was a kid, before the whole shade possession thing. My body is... different. And when the villagers found out about it, they started treating me like a freak. Yeah, think about that. Got a question, is she technically like, like, like a, uh, uh, what's the word? Her, hermaphrodite? Something like that? But one person, my grandmother accepted me just as I was. Like, I, I have no idea, just, uh -huh. No matter how bad things got, she gave me the strength to keep going. She's really special to you, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey! That gives me an idea! Since we cured your petrification, we should start looking for a way to cure your possession and my body. I know we can do it if we all work together. Heck, it'll probably be super easy. Let me guess, more warm water? Okay, can we just forget I told you about that? <laughs> Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devola and Popola. Very well. Just grab these items. Which one do I got? Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Gold flower. Uh, nothing else. I was about to say, wait, where does your sleeper? I got it. the bed's right here. <laughs> so how are my flowers doing? Uh wait. What do you mean discard? Is it because I oh, are you serious? Oh, are you serious? Like, I even put the game in, into sleep mode, but... Ah, oh, dang. Dang it. I really got to scar him? Ah, oh, my... Dang.
No, I don't want to discard him. Like, literally, I, I have not touched, I did not open my PS4 for ever since, like, I've been the, the ending, uh, ending B. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, you, it's just gonna die. Just like, come on, really? Can't can grab him or anything. Man. My freaking pinks. Ugh. Works so hard to, uh, like, get them ready, but just, like... You think, you know, oh, hey, if you're not actually playing the game, it won't actually count, right? But, oh, no, no, you, you, you gotta work on real-world time. You can't, you can't just do it, you know? Oh, can't, can't just leave it here, you know? Well, after 20 or so minutes... Uh, that sucks. That absolutely sucks. Uh, but anyway, well, let's go. Let's go talk to Pop Popola and Popola. Hey. Devil and Popola. Oh, uh, I kind of thought you'd never talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village, and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devola? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, alright? Alright. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go for the platinum anyways, so, uh, like that kind of run. I, I, I think I said this, uh, previously, but, uh, I do kind of wish they kept, you know, all what this the, the same. This? Beats me. No, just just have all the trophies there. No matter like you know the the ending or playthrough that you do. Popola. Oh, hello. Look, I want to apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers, and I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, oh. it was right under our pages the whole time. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So, take a boat. A, a boat? Yes, the canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected, what with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> all right. I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. Alright. Um, you know, I think what I'm gonna do is most likely just fast travel to, I mean, not fast travel, uh, cut to, like, each location. 
So, um, so it doesn't waste much of your time, much of you guys' time, because this is the third time going through this, so we, we will already know what's going to be Path happening. Above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. How excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. Okay, so like this, um, I think I'm just gonna cut to the, the Lost Temple because obviously we already know where we've been, and probably just cut to any of the important uh, any cutscenes that we we've, we've got. The Lost Shrine's up ahead, just past this cave. As well as the Shadow Lord's castle. Let us make haste. Alright, so uh, we're back. Uh, hopefully I showed all the cutscenes that was in between, you know, the boat in here. So let's go on in. of the darkness. Lure them to the light. Pathetic to the end, I see. Aim for that statue. It's the leader. <laughs> That's all the dialogue so far. Uh, do foolish creatures! You cannot hope to best me. These little bastards just keep coming. These creatures cannot abide the sun. Lure them into. I'm 
Have you felled the beast? <laughs> this is one stubborn son of a bitch. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Hey there, sunshine. You ain't feeling bad at this week, are ya? Ain't no turning back now. You gotta lust for blood. Embrace the slaughter. All we know is the thrill of battle. Ain't that right, Kaine? Eh? And there it goes. Kaine! I wanted to mention this earlier, but sometimes in the cutscene you can actually see the bulge. <laughs> that could, that haircut really works with her. Okay, I, I just had to, to wait until until she you know said everything. I didn't want didn't want to miss anything else. I know I know that happened previously. Are you all right? Kaine! I fear there is little we can do for her. No! Kaine! What is happening? <laughs> it's all over for you, sunshine. Kaine! Kaine! We must strike it down. Kaine! Come back! Gonna say anything else? No? Okay. Now, pin her down! Kaine, please! Oh dear. Kaine! 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 I... I 
couldn't hold it back. I can't be with... We're always going to be together, Kaine. If you transform again, we'll just stop it again. As many times as it takes. I don't care how tough it is. We're gonna get you back. I like sleeping outside because I'm with you, Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of you. I'm weak and I'm sad and I'm lonely, but you make me strong. You're my friend and I need you. So don't you dare leave me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Stop crying. And thanks. I'm all right. Over there. And what is this, hmm? It's me. It's got some kind of writing on it, but I don't know what it says. How remarkably useless of you. Well, let's go ask Popola. It's a cipher of some kind. Can you determine its meaning? I think this is the key to unlocking the Shadow Lord's castle. Here, take a look at this. I wrote down all the words I can understand. This fragment is called the Stone Guardian. Given that you found it in the Lost Shrine, the words must mean something. There are spaces here for four other fragments as well. Sacrifice. The Law of Robotics. The Memory Tree, Loyal Cerberus. The Law of Robotics probably refers to the Junk Heap, and the Memory Tree might be the Forest of Myth. But as for Sacrifice and Loyal Cerberus, I don't have a clue. Not a problem. Hmm? If we want to fill in the words, we just run around the world killing every big monster we find, right? Oh, splendid. By all means, let us undertake a murderous rampage. They're just shades. Besides, it's the only way to reach the Shadow Lord. It's a dangerous task. Yeah, well, Yona's in even more danger. But how can you even be sure that she's... Because she is! Right? <sighs> the Junk Heap and the Forest of Myth, yeah? I'm up. Please be careful. Alright. Oh, and listen. <laughs> about Kaine and Emil. The villagers know how much they've sacrificed, and they're thankful. It's just... They're scared, you know? People can't change overnight. I'll hurry them along the best I can. But can you please give them a little more time? I'll try. Alright, so I think the first area we should go to is the Forest of Myth because that's probably the easiest one. Uh, just like, just gotta make sure. The eyes. What color are the eyes? <laughs> the color of the eyes, number of period of sacrifice, and the red dragon, obviously. Okay, so, Forest of Myth. Opalus said we might be able to find something in the Forest of Myth. You will forgive me if I seem less than enthusiastic about such a trip. Uh, right, so, uh, I will cut to when we reach the Forest of Myth. Oh yeah, by the way, I found that chord is actually from Dragon Guard 3. I knew it sounded familiar. <laughs> oh, oh, new, new cutscene, new Looks cutscene. Looks like he left the village. Yeah. You think he'll be able to find all the fragments? If he doesn't, these past five years will have all been for nothing. 
Now that we know the location of the original Gestalt, the Shadow Lord, we have to stop his rampage. Okay, so they were against the Shadow Lord. I can't believe the Shadow Lord ran off and holed up like that. I worry the Shades who guard the Key Fragments will pose too much of a threat. Maybe so, but we're pretty much out of options at this point. <sighs> you having second thoughts, sis? No. The plan is all that matters. We must see the plan to completion. He is simply a tool to that end. Okay, so they were against the Shadow Lord this entire time, yet they acted like, oh yes, we are working for the Shadow Lord, we are with him. So was it for them to just die all this time? Because, obviously from the previous endings, Pablo said so that Devil was bleeding out when she uh, obviously wasn't. And was making this was like, oh, you guys started this. Even though they didn't, all and Devil and Popla knew what was, why they were going through this whole thing to save, uh, to save uh, Yona. So why, why did they do this? Why, 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 why was trying to? Coco die uh, all part the of their home plan. Of that blasted dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. I hear you. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You want to know if anything unusual is happening? Well, I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well, we're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prayer. <sighs> and why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Weird. Alright, so <sighs> let's quickly get this done we are the grass the trees the woods hmm. why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately you should talk vice as if grimoire vice is capable of spouting such nonsense hang on i don't think it's done is the dark entity that governs all memories May the words form themselves to your liking. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. I just realized. Is the voice of this tree the voice actor and actors of 2B and 9S? Because from the, you know, the, um, the... The credits, it didn't show, you know, the name, it just showed the question marks. Is this actually the, the voice of, of those two? Holy cow, I think I just realized it. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so, so, so. Uh, what was the color of gay brown eyes? Okay, so we got brown eyes. And how many daughter and 63 brown eyes, 63. Okay, and red dragon. Alright. Uh, uh, come on. 
brown. Okay. Yona. What in the... I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Alright, so we got that done. Now to the junk heap. Popola said we might be able to find a key fragment in the junk heap. Perhaps we can find a clue at Two Brothers' weaponry. Yep. So, uh, I will possibly cut to when we go to Junk Keep. Maybe there is a cutscene in between here, I'm not sure, but I'll cut it if there isn't. And if not, I will not. Damn! Where'd they go? Get him! Don't let him escape! Defense robot, P-33. You are an intruder. You must be eliminated. Error. There is something leaking from your eyes. I will not 
not permit the humans to kill Khalil. Military defense robot P-33 will protect you. P-33 is charged with defending others. P-33 will defend Khalil. There's gotta be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Huh? Look out! Huh? The noise of the intruders caused the structure to fail. They should have proceeded with more caution. One intruder has perished. The junk heap. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. Yeah, dude, there's not really much to kind of talk about, you know, in, in this playthrough and, you know, what, oh, hey what, there. what else has You're happened. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? Uh, my brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Um, yeah. Uh, with like the last episode, uh, we saw, you know, uh, of uh, the ending with uh, the Shadow Lord, who was actually, you know, the past near Yona, and just like the near that we see here and now is uh, just a fake. Yana Yana. Wait. Yes. I recently got my hands on a weapon, a very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. Don't we already have this weapon? Shh. These things happen the second time around. Third time, actually. <laughs> this sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so 
Watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. Alright. So, uh, I think I will cut to when we actually face this big ol' enemy. Uh, but yeah, uh... We, we knew from the, the first play through that, oh yeah, from uh, Devil and Popa that, oh yeah, we're, we're not really ourselves, that, is, you know, we're just fakes and whatnot. And the Shadow Lord is the real, you know, is the real Nier, and the shade that's possessing Yona was real Yona, and whatnot, so. But, but I'm just, like, confused about, like, how, how it all came to be and whatnot. Project Assault. Also, uh, I could, you know, uh, documentations, um, I think probably a back at, back at home there is, we, we, we can read something about that, um, because can't, can't have anything, does have anything here, uh, yeah, it's nothing here. It's probably back back at home. But anyways, uh, let's just go grab that memory alloy. Oh, I already got memory alloy. It's a shame about the older lad. It was but a child. <laughs> uh, so hey, we, we we didn't have to go through all that. Yay! Make things easier on me. <laughs> oh, this is, they're just gonna show, show the cutscenes. <laughs> a large seagoing vessel that carries freight and passengers over bodies of water. have taught me much, Kalio. You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. Because we are friends. How many memory alloys do I actually have? <laughs> Let me just check. Um, should probably be here. Um, huh, I have one. <laughs> so I was lucky <laughs> to, to have just exactly one in my inventory. Oh man, this plate is going to be a bit faster than I thought. <laughs> That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. Huh. So, I'm only like an hour into recording. We have some free time on our hands. But with editing, it's probably like 45 minutes or so. <laughs> Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. So I'm actually doing pretty good on time. And we're soon gonna get the third. Well, uh, we're either gonna get the raw, raw robotics or the L'Oreal Super Snacks. With the sacrifice being last, so yep, we're 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 doing this pretty fast.
What? What? Hey, Assis. How goes the code breaking? Harder than I expected. It's going to take some more time. More importantly, how is the child who drifted ashore getting along? Child? Right on schedule so far. I mean, we knew she was powerful enough to destroy an entire ship. But now she's grown even stronger. Excuse me? Who? There is one thing, though. She's started to obsess over becoming human. Excuse me? If that's a problem, we need to nip it in the bud. If the Shadow Lord resists the plan, we'll need her power to defeat him. I know, Popola, I know. Jeez, relax, will ya? It's a fool's dream, and we both know it. Okay, so... They're talking about how they're not humans, so that, that that that's one thing we we already knew. But to who's this girl? She doesn't have a receptacle, so she can't become human, no matter how badly she wants to. Who 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 is she talking? Who, who who are they talking about? Huh? What? So girl drifting in from the shore. From from the water or whatnot. Have we even met this girl? Like at all? Like in in maybe the playthroughs or like was it like an NPC or something like that? Uh, um, I'm a bit confused on it. <laughs> uh, hopefully it'll it'll come clear. Hopefully soon. <laughs> But uh, I believe what well, I when I was looking like you know more from about you know route see they did say uh, Devil and Pulver was was gonna have new scenes in this, so uh, I guess it's, these are the the scenes. Learned anything new about the Shadow Lord's key, Popola? You know, I was just going to talk to you about that. You remember the airy, right? That depressing shell of a village. Not so much anymore. It sounds like. I just got this letter from the village chief. Have a look. Yep. Sacrifice. Isn't that the name of one of the key fragments? That's right. I've been trading notes with leaders from every town in the land. You're amazing, Popola. Hmm. This entire affair strikes me as a bit too convenient. I'm afraid Grimoire Vice is correct. What do you mean? <sighs> the area has been shut off from the world for years. And now they've not only opened trade routes, but they freely exchange information about the Shadow Lord. I agree. It seems rather unnatural and dangerous. You're overthinking it. Besides, I don't care if it's dangerous. I won't get Yona back by just sitting around and waiting. If there are shades there, I'll just kill him and be done with it. Oh dear. Well, if that's the way you feel, I guess I won't stop you. Try speaking with the chief when you get there. All right. So to the airy. To the airy we go. We do not desire. We do not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live with humans, then we can continue to live peacefully. But that young man will come. Yes, the young man will come. He will kill us all. Women and children included. What should we do? What can we do? All right, made to the airy. So let's just quickly get it get it over with. We gotta talk to the chief. Then we gotta go to the mill section, talk to that guard, and then fight the giant eyeball thing. All right? Yay for! <laughs> repeating bosses 
but you know at, at least you know since we're much stronger uh and we essentially know exactly what's going to be happening we we can literally just like go do that and like directly go right there so yep <clears throat> Do. So I wonder if we're gonna meet that girl here in, in this route, because I don't recall seeing any girl in any other ending. So. Uh, hello, we're here from Popla's village. It's all over. We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. Our village is doomed. As cheerful as ever, it seems. You're the one who wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. What the hell is going on here? It may be faster for us to take our inquiries elsewhere. Let us ask around. Someone must know something. Yeah, some, some shade might know. <laughs> so I wonder when did the shade take over this town? When did they, you know, either, like, replace the people, or, like, when did the people, like, become the Shade? Because it has to be sometime between, you know, you know, uh, whenever they locked up, you know, all, all became, you know, like, like, <laughs> like, oh, anyone who, who, who just, like, like, stayed inside and, like, and, like, within the five-year gap. It's gotta be within that. Make sure. Uh, yeah, just in case before you know they all die and stuff, uh, I'll buy the stuff. <laughs> Come back anytime. Welcome. We never know when 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 you're gonna need them. These, yeah. Uh, oh no. Come back soon, all right. What? Oh, yep. Got to play that. A letter, huh? Yeah, I think I heard something about that. So, you know about the letter? Hmm, maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Ah, which is it, man? Oh, uh, and if I may ask, are you friends of Kaine? You could say that. Ah. I've heard the rumors. Here to hunt shades, are you? Indeed. Our aim is to defeat every last one. Every... Every last one? Everyone. 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 Vice! Beware. This man is a shade. Damn it! It's a trap! I figured as much. You guys sure are taking your goddamn time. A thousand apologies. We were distracted by the local welcoming party. Want some help? A carnival of murder? I love it! Yeah! <laughs> Kaine! The villagers are possessed! But not all of them. Some are still human, so be careful! Yeah, I'm making sure that I don't actually kill the human ones. By this lady. She's a shade. No. No. You people are the monsters here. Stay back, kid. Your sister is one of them now. I don't care what she is. She's my sister. And I love her. Kanye! Thank <laughs> you. 
madness. These people are behaving as if we are the villains. <laughs> Kill them! Kill them now! No! You've got to stop this! We're trying to save... Villagers are under attack over there. Damn it, Kaine! You gotta get up! Emil, watch Kaine! I'll go clean up over there. All right. All right, get back up. <clears throat> Why are you here? Everything was fine until you showed up. Actually, no, I, uh, I should, should have gone up here. Uh, I made a dumb. I made a dumb dumb. What could those black swirls be? He's ashamed. My husband's ashamed. Hey. You, you can die now for me, right? I can't tell who's human anymore. What's happening? Beast of Shade as well. That thing sucked up the villagers. No! If we keep this up, we're gonna kill them all! We can't let that happen! something from within the creature. Nope, uh, let's switch up. Um, it's a dark glass, dark plants. We haven't used that in a long while. Is this the combined power of all those shades? It will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The first to waver is the first to die. Yeah, uh, yeah. I sense magic coming from the center of that eye. Uh, let's shoot it out of the way. Wait! I think those are actual people! Hold nothing back. Those are shades. Oh, come on. The surrounding tentacles appear to deflect magic. Uh, put on dark glass. Oh, well, there goes the damage. Focus your magic on the beast center. Emil! 
thought I could, you know, try to use the auto uh, attack oh, to uh, you hit him. Should be able to attack from behind. Go around and get it. Please, oh, no. hurry. Still Emil, too short. We must circle behind the creature at once. Okay, faster, faster. Try to finish this in record time. <laughs> And uh, come on, help me take it out. Come on, it. And there we go. First attachment is functional properly, however, continue caution will be acquired in future discussion. Ah, dang. Emil! Emil, wait! Emil! He's gone! His instincts have taken hold! The ultimate weapon is being deployed! Ah, oh, fuck! This ain't good, Sunshine! Uh, Dream Beast. Uh, yeah, we already read about this, so no, can't get me twice. <laughs> For you, and I'll be dead. We owe you. But, but I... It's all right.
We had best be off. Yeah. Alright, so I guess it's gonna give us the option to uh, go see Pablo or check our mail? I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah, because it's like that beforehand, right? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I thought some dialogue would come up about this. 